Well, outside of the Rangers and the World Series, we do have high school football. Week 9 has arrived, and our Automax marquee matchup takes us to the six-man ranks this evening. Brett has more in tonight's big district showdown. Brett? Ricardo, as you might expect, it's a little chilly tonight, but for the first time in three years, a six-man football game has been voted in by the viewers as our Automax marquee matchup. And there's just two more weeks remaining in the regular season as both Abbott and Aquila are fighting for playoff spots in the district title. Only two teams will be able to make uh, the postseason in this district, six-man Division I, District 14. So if that doesn't heat up tonight's rivalry, listen to this. The two superintendents from both schools are brothers. David Edison is at Aquila. Ricky Edison is with Abbott. But wait, there's more. Also, Brian Cooper used to be the defensive coordinator for the Panthers. Now he has hopped I-35 to join the Cougars. However, Cooper's daughter... He got a little personal for us last year when they hired our defensive coordinator. Uh, Coach Cooper had been with us for a real long time, so uh, you know, it makes it a little bit difficult to look across the field and see a guy that's with you for 13, 14, 15 years. And, on the uh, he's, he's on yeah, the, that feeds into the rivalry a little bit because he knows all them kids. They all know him. He trained them from the time they were little up till now. And more and now he's got all the we have any week of the season, I mean, we, we're so ready to play those guys. We know they're going to bring our game, and we're going to make sure we bring our A game. And it's a big rivalry. Been looking forward to it all year, you know. If they're just right down the road from us, you know, we know them and they know us. If It's, it's going to be good. Uh, we all know them pretty good. Grew up with them. Uh, always our enemies, you know. But people always talking back and forth. It's a real fun game. Uh, it's the game of the year. It really is. We haven't been at it in I don't know how long. And last year about doing that makes you think that we could do anything out there on that field and just gain a lot of support from that game. Now in recent years, Aquila hasn't had much luck against Labatt. In fact, last season was the only time that the Cougars came up victorious in this matchup since 2003. But as you know, Aquila went on to reach the Max state semifinals. The brings of us out to Aquila for a huge six-man Division I District 14 matchup between Abbott and Aquila. The rivalry between the Panthers and Cougars not only having bragging rights on the line, most Before likely the season starts, time. people are already talking about this game. It's going to be a pretty big game, and we just hope to come out on top. We're just going to go out there and lay the wood on them, just hit them. Basically, our defense is going to win seven, the game. One, the Cougars a perfect eight. I know. Father, we come before you tonight, Lord, just praying for your protection and your guidance as our boys come out to play. We pray for good sportsmanship. We pray for your protection from any injuries tonight. Lord, we just thank you that you brought us here safely, and we pray that you guide us home as well. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. This time we'll have the national anthem presented by the Aquila School Band. Oh God. Be brave, be strong. We'll hold out. I know. Going down, go. Oh, going down, go. Yeah, shake their hands. Grab that stick tonight for the karaoke. Are you singing? I'm singing. That's all right. Woo! 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 Woo!